don't know if I, I don't think I did this. I think I made it to Aurora and then I stopped. I don't remember this. This part at all. Yes. Two to three. The Cyclops engine. Looks like there's something else here. So we've got the Cyclops engine. New blueprint acquired. I guess it doesn't show you. Yeah, it's not. It's not popping up with the Cyclops engine part because it's not. It's not like a whole thing. Transgov profile. Terracor. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. The official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. Yikes. Although most transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera literally meaning by Earth is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring, the, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce and making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to seize trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are brought out by the state, owners ascending to the board of directors. Well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees but voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in the Federation courts. Hey, they just gave me some food. I don't think I was going to say, I wonder if there's stuff underneath the burning, uh, underneath the fire. But I don't have a lot of fuel left with this. Do you want to go down there? Continue to explore this, though. Oh, I missed that. This would have been uh, having the... Oh, I guess I would be able to grab that with the gravity gun. Maybe I don't care. <laughs> it's probably just some water. Guess we're going to slide down here. Yeah, it seems to be mainly water, food, and occasionally a tool that we need. Laser cutter? No. Ooh. Hi. Bleeder. Oh, that sounds friendly. Inconvenient and unhygienic. Avoid or incapacitate. Done. Done and done. 
We got the Seamoth Bay and the Drive Room. Let's check out the Seamoth Bay first, if I can. Uh. Oops. Three, four, there. Oh man! VR suit log. Integrate new PDA data. Uh, loading program, uh, Desert Island Drama. VRAT. Three players. Oh, spawning players on a beach. Some kind of VR survival game. Player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player 2 has traded a coconut with Player 3 for 10 credits. Player 3 has planted a coconut. Player 3... Players are getting hungry. Okay. This isn't... Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. Player 3 has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Oh, I see. Night falls. A passing ship is offering trading. Okay, we get a fragment. This is good. so close only one fragment oh wait this is yeah baby New blueprint acquired let's read about the sea moth blueprints A Seamoth, the Seamoth is a one-person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell fitted in the rear and a fully customizable design. So this is the first thing that we're going to build, first vehicle, I believe. Low power, multi-directional thrusters enable it to function equally well in sea or space environments. Most long-range uh, vessels carry at least two vehicles of this class. So I guess we could put that in the Cyclops later on. To facilitate the exploration and exploitation of small astronomical bodies. However, they can also be fabricated at a standard mobile vehicle bay. They can be modified by installing upgrade modules. So we can increase the cargo space, superior power, pressure and collision compensation, enhance sonar defensive capabilities as well. These modules may only be manufactured at a moon pool. Outfitted with the vehicle modification station. Seamoth, it goes anywhere but land. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Drive room. And what's over here? Prawn bay and locker room. Cut open. Shit. Okay. That sucks. I'm probably gonna have to come back, right? To progress at this point. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Uh we've got those, right? We've got those appropriate qual do I have to find appropriate qualifications? I have to craft it. Yeah, I definitely did not do this, guys. This is so from here on in. I'm totally blind. I don't. I don't. I never made it in here. Warning: local radiation. At maximum tolerable level. Pick up Cyclops engine efficiency module. New blueprint acquired. Uh, okay. Oh, a breach. 
Gated download, drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which a breach in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. We're not alone. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Containment breach repaired. Just Further down there. Detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Nine more. Okay, so I guess we gotta jump in there with the fishies. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Easy enough. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oops. Containment breach repaired. One thing I'm a Further little bit concerned about. Detected. Is do I have enough juice? And I don't think I can just replace this. Replace the battery in this one. Containment breach repaired. Oh. Further breaches detected. We should be good. I think it only used like six percent. One, two, three, four, yeah, uh, four or five percent. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Extinction event avoided achievement. That's good. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Actually, I want to look around a little bit more. Is there anything... Anything else to find down here? A laser cutter? See anything? I, I I guess to be accomplish what we set out to do here. At least so, right? We just wanted to stop the place from uh, spreading radiation, right? That was weird. I just like popped up <laughs> above the water. Wow. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Now the only place I couldn't go into was, was here. Prawn Bay and Locker Room. Prawn Bay, maybe some other vehicle? You guys will have to let me know. Um, I'm definitely gonna come back with the laser cutter when I get it to open that up. You guys will have to let me know. Wait, can I get out of here? If I'm missing anything else, it's important.
Wait, I missed. There's something to scan? I thought I saw something pop up in the bottom right. Laser cutter? Oh. That's a bit disappointing. <laughs> that was like the hardest thing to get. Okay. Wait, what was that? Propulsion cannon fragment. Okay, I, I guess that's it. I, I don't know what else to, to do here. Oh god. Please go away. I guess I'll go back and just look around uh, to see if there's another do entrance. Seemed like that was the thing to do, though. Oh, miss me. Let's go see if we can find that laser cutter so I can open the final door there. Oh. Ouch. I should quit my stuff. Oops, I just dropped it. <laughs> I always do that. I don't know why. I always right click to use stuff for some reason. Okay, so we want this guy equipped there. What was on five? This. Well, it's kind of nice to be out of that place. Holy shit, what is that, guys? I'm going to save it. I got to see what that is. Is that... That's not a Leviathan, is it? Shit, I think it's... It's Steve! It's Zombie! It's Zombie! Oh, good God. It's a Reaper Leviathan! Oh, it's stuck! It's stuck. It's stuck. Get the fuck out of here, Luckless! Ah! These guys are flying at me too. I don't like this place anymore. I want to go home. Yoink. 30 seconds. Now, can I remove? Oh, I don't have the other, I don't have the other um, mask. That's too bad. Oh, I like that sound. That's cool. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm more relaxed now. 
Maybe I just should have committed to finishing the scan, but um, I was just too freaked out. <laughs> Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. I'm looking for scannable stuff. Ooh, what's that? Copper? Okay. I mean, this laser cutter is so important. I'm really surprised I haven't found all the blueprints for it yet. I must have really missed something obvious. around like one of the life pods 30 seconds. there it is oh. yeah baby New blueprint acquired that's what we wanted All right, let's go back and, uh, and craft this sucker. And then we'll head straight back. Also, I want to take a look at what I need to craft the, the vehicle. I already have the sea glide. Start by dropping Warning. these off. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Lithium put in there. Oh, we didn't put salt in there though. I'm gonna remove the titanium. Okay. Stuff. Good job, Luckless. <laughs> Creature. So I'll just put my titanium in here for now. So many batteries. Don't need that. I wonder if you can disassemble stuff like that. Uh, let me know. Can I can I disassemble? Um. I disassemble like uh, fire extinguishers for something or maybe I can refill them prawn suit mark three rising above the competition oh, I thought it was like a movie poster but it's some advertisement oh that sucks now can I let me check this habitat builder Do I have to build it from the outside? Huh. Why can't I expand off of that? Is it because of the, there's too much of an area below? This whole base building thing is totally new to me, so I'm, I'm figuring it out as I go. I guess for now I'll just build a hatch on the outside. 
Oh, I need to hold it down, don't I? Okay. This is all I really need is just a bunch of lockers, right? I know, guys, it's not lined up, all right? <laughs> I know. Maybe I should... This is all temporary. There, There is a mod that um, lets you, like, snap to grid and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll take a look at whether or not I want to use it. I don't want to use too many mods. Why is this being so weird? There is a spot. Okay. Guess I'll just put it here. Oh, look at <laughs> Two of them are popped out. Oh, some of you must absolutely hate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the vehicle bay. So for the sea moth, we need titanium ingot, which we have, a power cell, and two glass. I could build this. I could totally build this. Power cell and one more glass. Plasteel ingot. Ultra strong synthetic construction material. Um, enameled glass. I need one more quartz. Okay, let's listen to this message before we take off. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're doing computer. A sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. Jesus. Regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. So there is, there is a captain's quarters that we didn't make it to. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I can replay it if I want to. Upload a blueprint to the ship's computer. Black box data shows the high security terminal and the captain's quarters is still functional. Oh, okay. Maybe it's through that door that uh, we couldn't get through. Laser cutter and propulsion cannon. We need diamond? I don't remember seeing diamond. Okay, so. Let me pin those. <laughs> And then we were looking for quartz. I almost had bacon too. I'll drink some water before we go out. Here's some peeper. Okay, so quartz and diamond. Also, where's my grab ball? 
Was it over here? Does it run out of power? Oh, I hear it. Oh, someone mentioned that the grab ball grabbed uh, a bird at one point. I didn't even notice. Okay. And look at this, so weird. So many stalker teeth. I'll need that titanium. I find diamond I feel like that's oh one thing I should do is I should uh, before we get too far out I need to equip that rebreather oh shit where the, where the hell did I put that So can I... I think I want to put this in the main base. So I know all my spare equipment's there and I can grab it anytime. Okay. Quartz. Quartz and diamond. Yeah, I was thinking... Um, Diamond might be down lower. Does it, does it? Let me take a look at this just to see, does it show you like where to find things? I guess you'd have to have scanned it, right? Oh wait, high security terminal captain's quarters. Before they lost communications, Terry HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There's a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters located behind the prawn bay from which a blueprint should be accessible. So I needed to come back to get this code anyway, so this works out well. Totally uh, planned, of course. Oh yeah, I was going to check to see is there like... That's the one thing I do kind of like about Breath Edge is if there's... Um, it tells you like where you can find stuff. Uh, you got you guys. Let me know if that exists in this. 